welcome to Indie Live's Poetry Open Mic Spot. To Know the Dark, a poem by Wendell Berry. To go in the dark with the light is to know the light. To know the dark, go dark, go without sight. And find that the dark too blooms and sings and is travelled by dark feet and dark wings. This is Not a Proper Ghost by Sheila Nichols. My grandmother's ghost arrives in a flurry of purzel scented clothes flapping on a sunny washing line. It hovers in the kitchen over soup, probably seeking the reek of broth from a sheep's heat, bubbling with barley and leeks. She's there again in the crackle of an open fire or a snatch of vermio. She could coax a blaze from damp sticks and yesterday's cinders, singing or telling the tale of a gapet uncle. Not for her dire warnings of doom to come. She's not like a proper ghost at all. She always did things her way. Angus sure can, and this is Panto. This year's big pantomime is going to be held online. It's better than Disney. Oh no, it isn't. Maybe make up your own mind. Sunken ships to independence. Oh, look who's sailing down the river. Look who's heading out to sea. Corporate convoys filled with bankers, with holes in every hull we see. Yes, they're sailing from our waters, with all their riches safe on board. Billionaires with foreign passports, sailing with their stolen hoard. But look, the ships are sinking slowly. They're now below the water line. No one heeds the poor man's warning. Tory chaos is refined. Yes, we stand here on the shoreline, watching as their ships go down. Dinghies left behind can't save them, or their precious golden crowns. Will we gather at their graveside? I don't think so, said the Scots. With open arms we tried to save them, but they had no time for foreign thoughts. Now the sea is calm and settled. There are no battles left to fight. All that's left is independence, which Scotland sees as Scotland's right. <laughs> 